We would be honored if you would join us. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey, Star Wars fans, welcome to another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. Wanted to go with a little bit of a banger this week with having next week off of Power of the Force Fridays, but don't fret, I will return the following week with some more Power of the Force videos. We're looking today at Klaatu Barada Nikto. It was a phrase originally from the 50s movie, The, the Day the Earth Stood Still. Um, I cannot remember the entire context, I just remember that little factoid. Um, so... The figures here are not representative of their accurate weapons. Um, well, the weapons aren't <laughs> representative of the accurate ones that come in the box set. Now, these figures came in a three-pack with like a skiff backdrop. Um, I'm pretty sure I just bought these loose, so I may not have opened it. I can't remember. It's some figures that I buy myself. I, uh, you know, memory eludes me. When people buy me things, I remember everything about them. Um, it's just that sentimentality. So yeah, what we have here is previously named Klaatu Barada Nikto. Um, in these days, these are the species. Um, actually, is he? <laughs> I'm, I think he's Klaatu Barada. Klaatu Barada. Nikto. I think I've got that right. I remember these guys are Niktos and these guys are Clatoonians. Because they were in the uh, Mandalorian. The species were in the Mandalorian. Oh, forgive me, folks. <laughs> but now in nowadays, these two are both classed as Niktos. Niktos. Just different species of Niktos. There's like some elongated suffix to their name. Um, but traditionally, Nikto. Klaatu Barada. And I think Barada was given to him as a name. Whereas Klaatu and, and Nikto are speak. I don't know. It's all a... I'm, I'm doing myself a disservice here. Um, <laughs> so basically, these guys currently take up th their place on Jabba's sail barge. Klaatu here. The Klaatunian. He is a... He is working the kitchen on the sail barge, which is why he has a knife, which I think that was Dexter Jetster's. One of Dexter Jetster's, I think. Now, he kind of looks like a grumpy chef slash butcher, which also works with the Mandalorian episode of, of the Book of Boba Fett, where Mando breaks into the meatworks sort of thing, and it's all run by cartoonians like this guy. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, I, I like these figures because, you know, they're while they're, you know, not articulated, they're not super duper beautiful with the sculpt and the paintwork, they still fill in those scenes. Like I said, I need a guy in the kitchen serving, chopping whatever. Chopping up frogs for Jabba. Like, so I've got this guy in there. And he serves his purpose, you know. He's still, you know, ready for a call to arms. Well, the fact that he's got, you know, backpack and pouches and stuff. And, you know. This guy, he did come with a blaster pistol. So, he does have a holster there. He's wearing a similar sort of blood stripe trousers to Han Solo. He hasn't got the sort of separate line. That's just one solid line. As opposed to the separate stripes. Yeah, he's got some pouches there, which I like to imagine that he's got like little seasoning packets in there, which he, you know, just a little bit of, little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. But I think the sculpt looks pretty damn good. A new paint job over it would would look good. I think the sculpt sculpt still holds up. Obviously, being the uh, swivel head, it probably wouldn't hold up in today's action figures, but. He has a simple 5 POA, 6 POA, including the uh, waist there. So it's pretty simple. So that is the Klaatunian. Now we look at the Barada, who is also a Nikto, just a different Nikto. Um, yeah, this axe is from a Gamorrean guard. This guy is 
he's he's up on the deck. He's uh, one of the one of the members of the deck crew that go up to try and take on Luke Skywalker. We have since had a slight upgrade of this guy, of, of a couple of these species. We've had a woof, um, and yeah, mental blank for the rest of them, but um, I'm just trying to look over at my barge now, but I haven't got the lights on it, so I can't really see it all that well. But again, this guy looks alrighty, you know, he, he stands sort of in the back of the barge, sort of out of the limelight, so the, so the better looking figures are in front. You know, doing their thing. And this guy's just sort of hanging out at the back. Still present. But yeah, not as visible. And then he's just, you know, not the best of figures these days. He's got the weird sort of puffy, puffy shirt. Looks like it might be inflatable. <laughs> that sort of skirt that sort of flared up a little bit. A little bit of Marilyn Monroe there. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> That's just what comes to mind. And my brain works in mysterious ways. So yeah, relatively simple outfit, but you know, still fits in with the with the theme and the dynamicness look of all the pirates and skiff guards and all that. So now we'll take a look at Nikto. Now again, this is another spare Gamorrean guard weapon. This guy came with just like a force pike, like a lot of the skiff guards come with. And he's got this weird sort of side, side sort of stance. Here he's sort of just, he's got his hip rocked out to one side. I currently have this guy in Jabba's throne room. He is sort of standing guard at one of the doors. One of the doorway, doorways to uh, the throne room of the barge. There's a very sort of classical look to this guy. The sort of nice upgrades to the uh, vintage, vintage counterparts. The, the Nikto looked a little different, but the Barada, yeah, that guy <laughs> looked very similar. I don't know, I like, I like the sort of the blue, I like the yellow. It's sort of nice, nice colour scheme to sort of separate these figures apart, which I dig. And yeah, just sort of having him there, sort of just, just standing guard doing his thing. You know, he's not working too hard, but he's doing what Jabba asks of him. We've had a few Nikdos come out over the years, Jedi... Other guards, Jabba's guards, with an animated Nikto. Some cool stuff. It's all just sort of stereotypical sort of grunts, guards, underground, sort of mafia sort of guys, <laughs> I guess. That's the best way to describe these three. Klaatu, Barada, Nikto. I've got them in order now. <laughs> I apologise for my my mix-up at the start. I don't know my Klaatus from my Baradas from my Niktos. I know a week away when I see one, trust me. I can't mistake a week away. Can't mistake away a week away. Alright folks, again, I will be off for Power of the Force Friday next week. Let's stay tuned because I will be back the following week with another episode on an undecided figure. Please, you know, drop any suggestions, any recommendations, anything down below, and I will do my best to appease the viewer. This is what I'm here for. You guys watch because I create the content and you like watching it. So I really do appreciate all your support, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Until then, may the force be with you. Always. <laughs>